Hey folks, it's Andrea Bassett here from Fort Smeet Academy. And today I'm gonna show you how to make Jewish pork rinds in the oven. Very simple. Okay, so first of all, what are Jewish pork rinds? They are chopped up and fried bits of chicken skin. And just to give you a sneak peek, kind of look like this in the end. All right, now, uh, how do you say these in uh, Hebrew or Yiddish? I'll spell it for you. It's G-R-I-B-E-N-E-S. I looked online, there are a whole bunch of different ways to say it. What is the right one? I don't know. So I called, uh, I called my friend Eric, who is a Jew, who is raised in Hungary, and uh, I said, Eric, can you help me out? How do I say this word? He's like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, so then he consulted a few things, uh, and then as I was talking to him, look, you could see I was like writing everything down, and when he finally settled on this one, so Grebina. Now, on the internet, you also hear people say Gribinus, or also Grieven, which I think is another uh, pronunciation, like another uh, a dialect. So anyway, Gribina, also known as Jewish pork rinds and Jewish bacon, and it's delicious. Okay, so First of all, you get some chicken skin. Here you go. You take pieces of chicken skin like this. I got this a few pounds of it from the butcher. And uh, then you chop it up into uh, little slices. So I chop it up into little pieces like that. There we go. Now I've got raw chicken juice all over my left hand only. And then I put it, I dry it off with some paper towel, put it into another bowl. And this is not traditional. This is not the way your Jewish grandma would, uh, would do it, but this is how I do it. Then I take some spices, labeled chicken skin spice. I um, throw the spices over there, mix it up with my chicken skin hand. And just like a quick shout out to easyketodishes.com where I got my binder full of recipes, this chicken chips uh, spice uh, mix. I'll, I'll link to that. All right. And so then I put it in the oven and it takes quite a while. It takes... Um, like between 25 and 35 minutes. I just do it at 350. And then when it's done, let's do the big reveal. Oh, I'm pretending I'm getting it from the oven. Um, I do it here. So ta-da. So look at these. They're very crispy. Can you hear them crisping? I'm going to eat one. Can you hear that? It's so crunchy. Oh my God, it's so good. Now, usually, Gribina or Gribinus or Grieven is cooked with onions. As you might know, I don't eat vegetables because I'm one of those carnivores, so I didn't do that. Um, I love this just the same. They're so delicious. It's super cheap. I think my butcher charges me like a dollar a pound for the um, chicken skins. Which, fun fact, this word, which I may or may not be pronouncing correctly, Gribina, means scraps in Yiddish. So um, these are just some tasty, tasty, tasty scraps. All right, so that's how you make Jewish pork rinds. Um, thank you so much to uh, my friend Eric and also my friend Dan, who I consulted first. 
Um, I appreciate their help, even though they both, both basically said, this is not a popular thing. Um, and I said, ah, I need a Jewish grandma right now. And then my friend Eric said, oh, my Jewish grandma was vegetarian. No creepina from her. Anyway, that's all. Hope you've enjoyed this informative video. And if you do like these videos, press this video, press the like button. If you didn't like it, then just, you could press the dislike. But I hope you liked it. And if you didn't like it, but you're still here, thank you. That's super nice. Um, and if you did like it and you're still here also, thank you. That's also super nice, obviously. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks so much. And oh, I'm going to edit. No, not with my dirty chicken finger skin. No germs. There we go. Have a great day. Bye.